two four Tuesday. It is another Tuesday, and it's, it, it is two. What's the chances of that? I know this one's a little more fun. This was a kind of bill's been around a while. Most everybody in the Jet community remembers uh, when Mac Littleton had the car, and I think it's changed hands twice since then. I think so. But uh, yeah, we uh, just kind of wanted to dive in everything, let down a little bit, and it had some transmission issues. Uh, there was a the transmission was swapped out of it or rebuilt and didn't really behave the same. So Chris got that dialed in and he wanted to go ahead and do a dyno tune on it, try to maximize where, where we were at with this thing. It made a really good power. Yep. Which it ran good on the track too for years. But it's <laughs> yeah. been together a while, like I said. It's, it made good power and this motor's been together for several years. Like 480, 457 torque. It's on E85, it's on 70% ethanol, so it's got some good blend in here. Plenty of injector head room. Everything with that should be fine. Uh, went ahead and just did it on E85, so that way he's gonna run it mostly on E85. Anyway, what do you remember the setup on this one? I know it's a custom, uh, I think Rick did a cam, yeah, and I think it's got stock heads. It's a 403, I, I'm not sure if he touched the heads or not. I think it's ported rod and intake, LS7 mass airflow, long tube headers. It's kind of a, it's a good solid build, obviously. Like, it stayed, like I said, I went what, five, six years? Long yeah. Long. I mean, oh, never mind. It doesn't have a date. I saw where he ran a 1092, and that was a long time ago. I think it's been a little faster than that. That's when a 1092 was fast. Yeah. I mean, really. These, these and, you know, so this motor having 403 cubic inches, you can see that a little bit in the power. Uh, most similar combinations with a, well, I think April's was down, what, 10? 11. Yeah, I think it made 460. Yeah, I think it made 460. Yeah, maybe 460. So, but you know, the torque number and it, it held the power a long time. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a good combination. It's extreatable. He wanted something he could drive a lot and he has. He drove the crap out of this thing. Yeah, so this is a, a good combination. We're going to check, drive it on the street a little bit. Like I said, sort of sort the transmission things, let it shift like the, the new owner wants. You know, everybody has their preferences on transmissions for sure. Um, so. Dusty did get a run on this one, and this one has Cook's headers, wild pipe, and I think it has, shoot, I don't even know what exhaust it has. I don't know. We will, um, uh, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Uh, maybe. I, have, I don't know. It does have, I, let's see here. I think that might be the Corsa. Is it? I think so. So, yeah, it's got the Cook's. It has some mid mufflers up there so it does have some mufflers in the middle at the x pipe i saw and it has this setup i believe it is corsa because he traded with somebody before he sold it as he didn't want it quite so loud corsa has a nice quiet tone at idle but at wide open throttle it's aggressive it is. which is fine i mean you know it, it is aggressive but what you want, yep so anyways that's the setup on this one i don't remember much more about it besides having about 11 and a half to one compression in the 85 and uh we'll post up the dyno graph and the video after this one Thanks again for coming in on Two for Tuesday. Yeah.